Breast cancer is the most common kind of cancer in women. In Germany, every year, 60,000 women are diagnosed with this disease. Thanks to improved diagnostic tools, however, nowadays breast cancer can be detected at a very early and thus curable stage. The former standard therapy of breast amputation is nowadays a seldom necessary procedure. Instead, in most cases, it is possible to preserve the breast. However, breast-conserving surgery must be followed by radiotherapy to avoid recurrences. In the following movie, we would like to introduce you to the procedure of radiotherapy. Only 20 years ago, breast amputations were performed in all breast cancer patients. This meant a considerable trauma in patients' lives. Since then, medical science has proven that, in the case of localized tumors, breast-preserving surgery with subsequent radiotherapy can achieve cure rates similar to those of radical surgery of the breast. Radiotherapy is always necessary following breast-preserving surgery as well as in certain cases subsequent to breast amputation. A consultation with your doctor is always the first step in a radiotherapeutic treatment. During this conversation, patients will receive detailed information about the planned radiotherapy lasting five to seven weeks and information about the follow-up. Radiation therapy of the breast is supposed to kill any remaining cancer cells in the post-surgery breast in order to prevent a recurrence of the breast cancer. After breast-preserving surgery, the entire breast tissue, including a narrow strip of the underlying thoracic wall, will be irradiated. At the end of the radiation treatment, an additional dose will often be delivered to the former tumor site. In many cases, this so-called boost radiation can also be administered simultaneously with the effect of shortening the overall treatment time while maintaining the same level of effectiveness. All cancer cases are discussed during an interdisciplinary tumor conference, bringing together radiotherapists, gynecologists, oncologists, pathologists, and radiologists. After intensive discussions, the individual therapy concept is defined. As a rule, the radiotherapy starts after surgery or in the event that chemotherapy is necessary after the conclusion of chemotherapy. In any case, wound healing following the surgery would be complete before beginning radiotherapy. This is to avoid undesirable cosmetic outcomes. Before radiotherapy starts, a computer tomography, CT of the chest, is performed as an initial step. The CT provides precise anatomical image data and is the basis for subsequent physical planning of the radiotherapy. The CT scan takes only a few minutes, during which the patient should relax as much as possible. The patient is positioned on a special support cradle with the arms above the head. The administration of a contrast medium is not required. The cross-sectional images produced by the CT can be imported subsequently into the therapy planning computer. The radiation oncologist defines with utmost precision the target volume as well as the surrounding organs that must be protected. Then the doctor and the physicist determine the optimal radiation technique with a special planning software. Once the irradiation planning is complete, the radiotherapy can start. The daily irradiation is performed by specially trained radiographers under the supervision and control of a radio-oncologist. To position the patient precisely, skin markers are used. By verifying images prior to each irradiation session, it is possible to check the position of the irradiation fields. This allows to correct the position of the radiation fields if necessary. If the actual position of the irradiation field is identical to the planned position, the daily radiation fraction will be delivered. Normally, radiotherapy of the breast is well tolerated. Localized skin irritation may occur but can be treated with certain lotions and drugs. 
Fortunately, severe side effects occur very seldom due to the application of the latest radiotherapy technology. In conclusion, radiotherapy of the breast is an effective and gentle therapeutic procedure, which is well tolerated thanks to the latest technologies.